Welcome everybody. This is the film glutton, and I'm with. I've got another. Oh, hold on. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> no, it's all right. Hello. This is the film glutton, and this is a proper introduction. Well, a more proper introduction. Today I'm bringing you a conversation between my good friend Juan and I about the state of comic book films in general and their future. We cover the whole spectrum from Marvel to Fox to DC. This one's packed to the brim, folks. Juan's not only a close friend, but also a great writer and director. His nerd area of expertise is X-Men, but like me, is a fan of it all. I have to send a special thanks to Juan, not only for this episode, but for all of them. He's one of the buddies that really pushed me to expand from my written reviews to this. Whatever this is. Anyways, thank you, Juan. Once again, my alter ego, the full of shit one, pops up a lot, so a little disclaimer. While some facts are fully accurate, others are semi-accurate, and others are simply made-up bullshit. A few select visuals might help add some insight and clarity, but if you just want to listen, that's great. Enjoy the bullshit and hopefully have a laugh or two. Last week, I attached his brief, slightly spoiler reaction to Avengers Infinity War to the JB conversation, and I have cut everything in this conversation that might tread on spoiler. So you're safe to listen to it if you haven't seen the film yet. We jump right in with his favorite Marvel films and him comparing it to Infinity War. Then proceed to the future of Marvel and then the rest. Again, this is one full episode, so let's jump right in. Thank you all and enjoy. Um, and just to, so the audience can kind of know, what are your top tier Marvel films? <clears throat> and where does this fall possibly Gosh. within that if, if it does? Um, I'm, I definitely love Winter Soldier. I think Civil War would be next. Um, Ragnarok is really up there. I, I don't know. I, I guess it would be three. I actually just saw it today again. Um, again, it's crazy. This Thor, Ragnarok is muscles. So for this movie, I, it definitely is up there. It's it's definitely top five, I would say. It, you know, set this up to happen over like 10 years. And to fight, you know, it could have been a piece of shit. You could have just been like, ah, oh, it didn't, you know, couldn't, it, it very, it was close to not holding up to expectations, which any movie that has hype, especially on this level, I mean, this thing, everyone knows about it. Everyone is ready for it, uh, yeah. you know, so for it to come out and, you know, for me to sit down, I was just, you know, I was still wowed. Yeah. You know, it was marvelous. Well, even <laughs> very nice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but even non-spoiler related, like it should have been a disaster with as many characters as it had in it. Any other, even like really good director or writer could have screwed the pooch on that one yeah. hardcore because there was a lot of characters to balance out and, um, in my non-spoiler written review, I kind of put that that's actually one of the advantages because it makes it work and you're interested. Yeah. Like, if you have a favorite character, it's in there at least on some level. And it has some kind of storyline. And by now, uh, whether it be my written review or um, some of my podcasts, you should, everyone should know how I feel about Winter Soldier. That's my all-time favorite. Yep. Um, and I put this one in, in competition. You got, you know, Doctor Strange. You got Winter Soldier. And Iron Man three. Um, that's funny. Uh, I did forget Doctor Strange was something I did like a lot. Like that definitely, you could have done so many different things with that, and I I didn't know what to expect. I think for that character, I, it's not a character I, I read a lot on, um, unless he guest appeared or guest started in a few of the comics that I was reading. Um, yeah, Doctor Strange is a great. Oh my god, I never read a single Doctor oh, no. Strange yeah. comic book ever. Yeah, like that's what's interesting about Marvel. Like I'm a big time nerd, uh, m way more into DC comics mm -hmm. in terms of just the comic book, especially growing up and reading and stuff. Um, there was a lot I was familiar with with Marvel, but there's this uncharted territory. I never read a Guardians. Oh, me I either. was familiar with Guardians yeah. because of Nova. I'd read right. Nova, but. Uh, never read Doctor. In fact, as a child, Doctor, I would look at Doctor Strange. I'd be like, weak. Yeah, like yeah, I, I don't know. Where, where's his mask? Yeah, where his claws? Where, where's his brooding yeah. mentality? What's his uh, <laughs> mutant power? I, I don't understand. Um, I definitely, yeah, same thing here. I, I definitely was more of an X Men fan. I started with probably Spider Man, um, Captain America. I definitely read issues, um, but I, my my room was filled with just 
anything X-Men uh, and Spider-Man and um, anything that, kind of, you know, my friends were reading with Marvel, I would definitely, but, you know, I, def- I definitely read a lot of DC characters. I definitely read, you know, of, you know, Superman, Batman. Um, those were the two top, you know, things that everyone's reading. So, um, but, you know, I think I did read a flash or two, uh-huh. you know, really quickly. Like I would just, you know, <laughs> skip through the pages fast. Um, really quickly, another pun, guys. Real quickly. I'm going to pun all day. <laughs> I'm punning. Um, he sped through that comic book I, I was that. very speedy um, no but yeah I definitely I've read a lot but Marvel's always been my my thing but yeah I'm, uh, same thing I'm aware of other DC characters but like obviously we've talked several times about characters and I, I don't know if you remember but there would be so many times you'd have a comic book and I'd be like uh, what is that and you would just start telling me and talking and I could be late for something but I would just still be I'm like uh huh okay cool okay good you're cliff notes of a lot of DC characters. Remember what? it was the New Fifty Two. Oh yeah, and I was like, New Fifty Two, and you're like, uh huh. Really excited, <laughs> and I was just like, what's that about? And you just, yeah, absolutely, because I don't get too many people I can just go on and on. No, about I get it. Stuff with you, tell you ask me a question about X Men, I definitely will sit there and be like, well, the thing with Cable is he, he was the son of Scott Summers and uh, Man of the Prior, and then he got basically he's you know their kid, and yeah, I just I'll keep going. All right, so we understand some of the the present day. Uh, well, at least with Marvel films that we're mm-hmm. very satisfied with all in all. Yep. Let's talk about the future. What do you think about Marvel? Again, not giving away any spoilers from Avengers. What do you expect? We'll get to X-Men okay. separately so, okay. since you mentioned that. Mm. But let's talk Marvel Studios and maybe they could blend in together with the purchase coming up. Um, gosh, I don't There's It's just so much like I know there's definitely I have. I don't know if you have run into some filmmakers specifically that. Um, kind of just hate the idea of um, more comic book movies in general. And I obviously, we people, you and I have been waiting for this our whole lives. Like this is something that we've read, you know, once in a while there'd be one movie and then we'd wait five or six years for maybe another movie, you know? So hopefully we just get more, for, specifically from Marvel, I, I wonder how long this this success is going to last you know you have to fail at some point or you you know you just no studio has ever had that i know of this kind of success where it's just like one after another and they just i mean even you would think they would have teetered out like the last maybe four movies but no you have um thor ragnarok that beat expectations black panther it's like the number three movie of all time uh, box office wise and now you know um a couple months later we have avengers infinity war that is you know it just opens number one that the week opens with what was it 250 yeah it was a lot no, no. it's just a lot of a lot of money we'll never see you know yeah, so absolutely. It's, just, it's 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 crazy i mean I, i've seen i've read some of the things that they've talked about for their future films and I, you know, honestly, even with characters I've not heard of or seen, like uh, Captain Marvel, I only know yep. because of uh, Rogue from X-Men. I only know that, you know, she stole her powers at some point. Like, that's yes. all I really know of her. Uh, I'm excited about that. Ant-Man, I'm even a new, a new Doctor Strange. I'll take whatever they give me, you know? Like, I'm just like, I'll, I'll watch it in hopes they're just good. Um, but I do, you know, you just wonder, like, you hope that the, the whatever formula they're using, um, it just continues. You know, you just you just think want Marvel will be able good. to keep up that. Well, let's talk about the immediate slate slate for Marvel films. We got Ant Man and Wasp coming okay. out yeah. absolute next this year. Okay, this summer is that June or July? Uh, right. And then we got uh, Captain Marvel, mm-hmm. and then of course and then Infinity Two. Yeah, yeah. Um, That's not the official title, everyone. No, don't get too excited. He doesn't know Kevin Feige. No, I didn't tell him. I just I called him. I do, the other but day. <laughs> he's my um, other friend. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I just I, I, you know, I only hope they continue to wow us because it's been a pretty good run, ten years. And I mean, even though there's a few movies that I was like, eh, I, I wasn't obviously Iron Man two. It's not as bad as people, I think, remember it. But um, I don't, I don't even know what to think of Iron Man three. I know that's one of your top, but I enjoyed it. I love, I love uh, Shane Black. I yeah. love that guy, but. Seeing that movie, there was something that that didn't impress. I, I think maybe the end. Like, I wasn't a fan of Annie Potts fighting in the end. Oh, there that was, just, was terrible. It just seemed kind of that rushed. was terrible. Uh, but I did enjoy it. It's just like you know, there's a couple that I was like, okay, you know, this is fine. But 
but still, yeah, I, I hope uh, we can only hope that they continue to make you know interesting stories. Yeah, my opinion on Iron Man three is definitely a minority opinion. I mean, mm, yeah, uh, and there's a I lot know. to critique no. about that film. When you said your top five or whatever, and, you're, and you said Iron Man three, I'm like, you mean Iron Man one? Yeah, <laughs> right? which is an amazing film too. Right. Uh, and then we'll, we'll skip over Iron Man two because. Yeah, I didn't mind. You know, Sam Rockwell's in it, and I, I think he, oh, he's so fucking fun to watch. Oh, man. Do you remember? Yes, I, yeah. yes. No, no, he was great, but the the rest of that film was garbage. You, so I just I, can't, they... I just can't go back to it. I tried. Yeah? I tried going Nothing? back to it. No? I just... I Rockwell's it. nice, but... Yeah, I get it. But, but Iron Man 3, it's just the, the metaphor of the suit, like him sitting on the couch right next to the suit and having the post-traumatic stress syndrome, yeah. and then the... The black I did like a amazing. lot of that. You're yeah. right, absolutely. Like, there, there, there's definitely moments in that movie that no, abs- absolutely. It's, it's just one. It's weird that if you ask me about Winter Soldier, I'm like it's phenomenal. But when yeah. you ask me about Iron Man three, I don't. I, I get confused. I don't know how to answer because I'm like right. I did like it. Um, it was good, and then you're like, eh, but then. Yeah, so and then but then also they're gonna eventually have to phase some of the old guard out. You know, like. Right. I mean, Captain America can't go on forever. No, I mean, there's so many things. I'm sure people have talked about this that you know, uh, the Winter Soldier, or even uh, the Falcon could turn to be Captain America. Yeah. Like, there's definitely they could take so many cues as they already have been from comic books to just push the character so it's not the same hat. Which it could have easily have done. Like, they could have done Captain America too. They could have just done kind of just the same old same which they kind of did with thor thor 2 i almost was better than thor 1 yeah but still safe and still kind of the same right um but you know when you when you watch captain america 2 you're like what the fuck (laughs) you're like oh my god um uh so yeah i i think that they've just they revamped things that they they keep putting like you look at thor ragnarok that they they've learned from their little mistakes that they're not totally keeping safe with their storytelling uh, I'm sure some of you are being like, uh, oh, I don't know. They're pretty similar to me. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I think, I mean, obviously they're, they're, they're successful every, almost every time they come out. So they're doing something right. Um, I'm sure they'll continue to, to pick from the comic books and just, you know, add yeah, to. And they keep talking about they want to go to three films a year. Right now we're at two right. Marvel films and they want Gosh. to bump it up to three. Will that be, will that be too many Marvel films? One too many. It might be a perfect storm because they do keep, reinventing the will and that's what keeps us interested like yeah. you're talking about with ragnarok and everything and i mean falcon becoming captain america would be a gr- that would get me interested right away i would right wanna, what a, not bucky i don't want to see yeah it's, bucky's a great side character i don't need him to be a main character no do you not want him to be because of all the people he killed <laughs> <laughs> he killed a lot of well, people there's so many people he kills in winter Soldier, and i get that he was brainwashed but still, it's a little tough, you know? Yeah, but a lot of those characters kill a lot of people. I mean, Iron Man yeah. indirectly killed a that's lot true. of people with Age of Ultron. Yeah, that's true. That's a spoiler yeah. just for Age of Ultron. For those of you who haven't seen okay. it out there. <laughs> um, but the Falcon becoming Captain America. I mean, That would be fun. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, was it Kevin Mackey? Yeah, yeah no, absolutely. He's always, he's always entertaining. He's a great he actor. And yeah. then being so close through Captain America through all the other time, right. like, I could see him understanding the mantle he's taking since yeah. they put so much this iconic imagery onto Captain America in a way. It, it would be really interesting. He would balance it out. He'd be like, well, I'm not, you know, yeah. the old Captain America, but I'm not Steve Rogers. There's a lot But going... I want to carry that on, that World War II mentality to some degree with yeah. modern flair. And... A lot of challenges that I would like because, for one, he doesn't have a super soldier serum. Yeah. You know what I mean? So he's not... Captain America, when he fight, you know, they do such a good job of of utilizing his strength. Yeah, you know, he's almost he's not. He's not like Thor. Thor is much stronger, but he's strong enough. You know, he has that edge. And if you have Kevin Mackey, if you have the Falcon, become Captain America, which I know that is, po- it's really possible for that. To, which I think it would be awesome. Happens um, in the comic book, so why not? So I think that would be interesting because that's something he'd have to deal with. Like when he does, when challenges approach him, he's not superhuman. Like how does he handle, you know, the odds? The, mm-hmm. and, and as a viewer, you know, you, you have to see him go through uh, tasks left and right. So as opposed to Captain America where he, you know, he kicks someone, four people go flying. You know? And it would be interesting to see like when you don't have these heavy hitters, like 
the Robert Downey Jr. carrying on the team, like strong actors that translate to strong characters that keep you interested. Do you think that um, War Machine will continue? Like, because I always felt like that's the easiest transition with sure. Iron Man. Sure. Like you don't even need Iron Man. You could just you know yeah to re- you could put him aside and, well, and focus on War Machine. That would be great. Would he take over the mantle or just yeah, just like, do like, War Machine? There would be a movie. I, I would machine. assume, like, yeah, War Machine. Like, I, I've been waiting for that. I assumed that was going to happen. That would be badass. You know, I just... Uh, and you have Don Cheeto. I mean, dude, that guy's... The one, they, they're, all their actors are good. Like, every actor they have uh, works. So, yeah, it's just, it's just interesting. I mean, a War Machine goes back to me as a lot of residents because, I mean, in my first Infinity War video that's non-spoiler yeah. i mentioned before we knew the concept of what marvel was going to do mm-hmm. just watching the iron man for the first time acting so naive yeah. and seeing the unpainted iron man oh, suit right. and then going oh, yeah. oh my god yeah. and he, he looks at it and he says uh the other you know, actor, next right? time the other actor well, yeah. yeah next does he, say, does he say next time i think he says next time if if it's been a while since no, I've seen he it. looks at yeah he looks at it there's a b and he's like next time baby and I'm just like looking at my friend, and I'm just like, "Oh my god, dude, that, that's War yeah, Machine! Yeah. Could they, could they possibly bring in War Machine?" Well, now we're talking in a universe that's got Guardians I and know. Doctor Strange, and <laughs> I am Groot. I like, um, yeah. There's there's so many possibilities. To, uh, is it Kevin? It's Kevin Feige. Ke- I don't know. I say Kevin Feige. Kevin Feige, but you're, um, you're probably right. I like. I mean, dude, that guy's things. been around for years. I didn't realize how many movies he's been involved in. He was involved in Blade. How about this? I say Kevin Feige. You say Kevin Feige. So okay. one of us will be right. Feige. <laughs> Feige. No, Feige. it sounds like we're monkeys. Feige. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that... Oh, but yeah, I didn't know how long he's been around. He's been around. He's been, he went through uh, Blade, X-Men, 1, 2, and 3. Like he oh, was yeah. always like a... Not, I don't know what level of producer he was, but he was always there. So Spider Man. Spider Man. Jeez, he's been around. So it's not like he just no. He did his homework. Movies. He knew. He lied in wait. Yeah. He laid in the shadow. Lying in the shadows, just like doing his homework. He's fucking early Bruce Wayne. Yeah. And like just like going to study all the martial arts everywhere, and then finally right, exactly. at the right time, he's like, "Hey it's guys, like, here it is, Death Touch." <laughs> um, yeah. No. So I think with him at the helm, you know, coordinating everything. Yeah. Um, they're just going to continue to do what they're doing. I mean, there, there's going to, there, there's bound to be one or two movies. I'm sure that will be like, okay. Right. Probably not as good. Well, like, okay. Well, now, with, now they're DC. Even with one of my first afterthoughts of Avengers infinity war was, I was like, now I'm yeah. Ant-Man and the Wasp is coming out. And I'm like, I don't know. Do I want just another episode? <laughs> so, although sh- I, I will say, you know, cause even, even as much, you know, we, we finished watching the movie. I don't know how the audience was when you watched it. You've seen it twice, right? I've seen it twice. Yeah. Um, I, don't, I don't know what the audience was like, but it, it was pretty like, you, it is like a gut punch. You know, you, you watch it, you're enjoying yes. the hell out of it. And there's a certain, co- there's a couple things that happen in the movie. Where it's, I, it's, see, I don't want to. I, don't, I, I know, I know. We got to avoid but, it. Bottom Sorry. line is when, when the, with Ant-Man and the Wasp, I feel like, with the tone they have, it's it's kind of nice that we'll be able to take a break and be kind of given a, a, like a, a breath joyful of fresh air. movie. Yeah. But so I, I think it's kind of nice that we do get the Ant Man and the Wasp. But then next year we get Captain Marvel. Yep. Which is interesting because then, like, it's in the 90s. And, yes. you know, you're just like. Period. First period piece, right? Fuck, that's, yeah. Well, no, I mean, not, uh, Captain America. Yeah. But this I is guess. a real character piece. It's, it's in the 90s. <laughs> um,. No, I think that um, it'll be cool. It'll be good. It's I, and that's why we're not Kevin Feige because you know yeah. they, they they mapped it He's out. They're like, you know, and, then, and then we'll give people a breather. They'll accept it, yeah. and then we'll give them Captain Marvel. We'll tell them the past, and then here she is. And then um, we'll come up with the last Avenger or the next Avengers, whatever it yeah. may be. And then maybe they'll take a nice long break from Avengers uh, for a while and just yeah, give us a bunch true. of yeah, that's true one shots. They won't. I know they won't. I'm curious to see what the next slate is after Avengers Four. Yeah, you know, like they haven't released that. I so. think intentionally. All right, let's move away from Avengers and okay. let's move away from Marvel for a little while because we kind of got some idea on that. Are let's there talk. Other you mentioned comic book movies. You mentioned X Men. I know uh, no, <laughs> there there are some that exist. Uh-huh. Um, they might be intertwined. This might lead into Marvel because mm-hmm. we do know Mar- uh, Disney is looking to buy Fox, and that's as far as we know. 
from all the news feeds and everything yeah. I get from the internets, mm-hmm. and the internets doesn't lie, right. that that deal is supposed to go through by the end of this year. Yeah, I know. I, I just hope we still get... I, I, yeah. Okay, it, let's, let's go in this two parts. Okay. If Fox does... If Disney does not acquire Fox, uh-huh. uh, are you excited about X-Men? I, I'm always excited about X-Men. Yeah. Like, regardless of what format it's in, uh, I'm just excited. You know, okay. X-Men, to see them... Any character with X-Men that I see that's, like, live action, I, I just... You want a Dazzler movie, don't you? I'm, I've been waiting for a da- That's the one movie I hope they eventually get to. I'm like, is this Dazzler? Like, is Dazzler... Like, is there a cameo of Dazzler? That's the one thing I'm constantly Googling. Like, Dazzler movie. Is this going to happen someday? Um, no, I... Yeah, any, honestly... Because right they, now, all we got is Dark Phoenix coming up. X-Men Dark Phoenix. New Mutants. And the New Mutants. And like, De- for oh, and sure. And then Deadpool. Well, Deadpool comes out this month? N- yes. Yeah. In, in a couple weeks. I mean, honestly, this year, we were supposed to get three X-Men movies. Mm-hmm. We we're supposed to get New Mutants, yep. Deadpool, and Dark Phoenix. And when we, whoever is an X-Men fan last year, when we heard that, I've run into people who were like, in, like we just chatted and X-Men had come out. And I'm like, are you excited? We're going to get three X-Men movies. And they're like, sir, if you just want to buy that. I'm like, no, but you should be excited. Because, you know, so any conversation I'd run into, I would talk about how cool that we're going to get three X-Men movies. And yeah. then, you know, the trailer for New Mutants came out. The teaser for Deadpool. And yeah. It just looks exciting. And then nothing. And yeah, then but we then just... they had like, a, oops, uh, sorry guys, but uh, yeah, yeah. about it's, that. It's just sad. It's disappointing. <laughs> Um, but you, but know, you know what? If they need to take a step back and it's to improve the films, oh, I'm all for it. Of do course, it. do it. Otherwise, it's funny. Everyone, compl- I know that people were complaining about um, Justice League. Yeah, how they didn't take the time. Like you know, there was a moment where I think they said they could have waited to have Henry Cavill shave his mustache, mm-hmm. shave it when he's done with Mission Impossible, have him shave, and then just reshoot and then push the movie back. I don't know if you're aware of this, but you hear about the two producers that that still st- they get a bonus for sticking to the oh, date that yes. they had. Did you hear about yep. that? Yeah, the Christmas bonus. So I was thinking, on one, you know, so we're all like, well, they should have taken the time. Yeah. And then now when we hear the X Men news of them pushing, oh, you know, we want to make New Mutants more hor- like it's already a horror film, but we're gonna we're gonna amp that horror up. You guys gonna shit your mutant <laughs> pants when you get that you're you know of course the geek and others was like well what the fuck are they doing you guys set a date man right put it on the date you get no we gotta exactly. wait so it's you know we have to realize, we want it we want it now we want it now <laughs> we have to reel ourselves back in and just okay so maybe they're, they're trying to make it better as long as it's not studio meddling in a bad way because there's meddling that could be a b- bad thing right. and then there's also you're saying new mutants i mean i'm in some ways i'm way more excited for that than um, Dark Phoenix. Yeah, yeah, just because mainly not because I necessarily read it so much, mm-hmm. but because I was a obviously one of the top films was Logan for me. Oh yeah, one of the greatest. That's, I, I mean, no, that is. I, I it's a great. Yeah, I, I mean, but again, at least you're top to an five. Fan, I'll, yeah, I saw Logan. I I cried. You know, I, no, absolutely. Yeah. I was kidding. You did cry. I did. You I little did. I no. no I. I hit it really well. No, I did cry. I actually went. You know what it got me was the, it wasn't even, I mean, this is going to be spoilers for Logan. So hopefully you watch that. Uh one. (laughs) It's, it's the, it it wasn't even when he died. It was when the very end, when it was the cross. Yes. And he turns it to the end. Oh my, shut the fuck up. That's when it hit me. Okay. Wow. (laughs) This is, here's the thing. So I watched it with Carlos Gomez. A friend of ours. And uh, he, he, you know, the scene was getting to that. Like they already talked they're leaving the girl slowly comes back yeah and it puts the 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 cross into an x and i i was like oh man i'm it's hitting me. like it just i was so emotional to see that x where he laid and, and i just was yeah i got i started getting teary eyed yeah um i didn't cry I, that's that's you know i don't care what Carlos <laughs> is but it, you know it just got teary eyed uh, but I, it's funny because he leaned forward. We're both sitting down, like pre, you know, casually, and he leaned forward as she was doing her speech, uh, and then you know she puts the cross. So I was like, "Is he leaning?" <laughs> I was like, "He's leaning forward to like not let me see him cry." And and, and, and I was like, "It's okay, man. It's okay." Because we we both, um, yeah, we both. It's an emotional ending. It's fucking right. yeah. It's funny. 
no, absolutely. And and as much as we give Kevin Feige credit for creating this big universe, Hugh Jackman re- achieved something amazing. Like yeah. we grow up with him as our Wolverine. I know. Like, um, and so many different variations of the X Men, even if it was just the one off cameos here and there. Yeah, I'm definitely again, again, X Men. <laughs> you know, they roam. No, gotta stop doing that. Um, I definitely anything X Men I love, and with. Logan, you know, New Mutants coming out. Um, the Dark Phoenix saga. I yeah. did love that cast. That that young cast that they have. I, I did enjoy them immensely. Yeah. And I if if there is a merger, if they do well, if they if if Disney does acquire them, I think they definitely have an opportunity to just stick with what is done. Oh really? So you want the I would existing. still existing. I mean, they could still, yeah, you could still keep Deadpool. New Mutants hasn't really come out yet. Um, I did hear that they're shooting scenes with a new character in New Mutants. I don't know if you heard that. No. Yeah. Me- oh, yes, yeah, I did. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, but with with Dark Phoenix, I'm like, I love that cast was so exciting. Like, I, I, I mean, Apocalypse Now. It just, you know, they just it's came off a not movie called uh-huh. Apocalypse Now. Just so you know, it's a different movie. It's, it's just <laughs> called X Men Apocalypse. It doesn't start. Apocalypse, not, a no. Young what movie Charlie did you Sheen. see, John? No. Um, yeah, X Men Apocalypse. I, I I did enjoy the horrors. It. The I, horrors. Um, okay. Marlon Brando was in there. Uh, Marlon Brando was Xavier. I, d- I definitely I you know I, I wish it wasn't about the end of the world. Well, I, he did play Xavier's dad in an early X Men um, when Xavier came from his home planet right before it was destroyed. Which one? Uh, that was the very first uh, Xavier X Men movie. That's... Yeah, what in nineteen seventy seventy nine? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. He could have been a good <laughs> Professor X. He wouldn't have known his lines. He would have had it on cue cards. But uh, but sure, he would have. Yeah, um, he would have been like, I think I should be a bagel, not a professor. Um, but anyways, yeah. So I, I definitely, if they do, mer- I, I do love that young cast. Uh, I'm curious what Dark Phoenix is going to be because I don't want it to be another end of the world. But with that storyline, it's it's almost impossible to be, you know, that's that's galaxies, man. Right. We get the Shi'ar. Gosh, there's... Ugh. I wish they took it... Like, you know, you look at Logan and it's so grounded. Um, it's a Western, yeah. essentially. And you, you, you just... I think stories are better when they're, when they're, when the stakes are of, um personal yeah yeah you know when you make it like we gotta save the world it's like how much bigger can you get man yeah yeah. you know so it's like if you keep it like a a personal story like the universe yeah time itself okay those are that that's bigger (laughs) you know which we don't need to get to we don't need that you know (laughs) unless you know i mean when you look at thor i mean um the most you know avengers that that's the universe that's the galaxy yeah yeah but they've led up to that Right, right. I feel right. like some of the X Men movies were like, "It's yeah, it's the end of the world," you know. No, absolutely. Sometimes it gets a little. It's kind of like the the cliched of where it's all like everything happens with one engine like attacking one city, slowly destroying everything, and once they kill that one Machine. thing, you're uh-huh. you're good. Yeah, Avengers one, Man of Steel, you know. So yeah, they're like, so yeah, getting away from that. But you, so you think, you, would you prefer to see it merge? So you could get uh, your. I don't know. I, I think it. There, before I always wanted Marvel to acquire them to get all their all their characters back, but there is something about them being on different. I, I, I don't. I, I. It's great that they work together. I think it'd be great if they had a deal like Sony had with, with has with Spider Man and Marvel Studios that you know they're, they're utilizing a character together. Yeah, I think that would be great, but it, when it's all under one house, I do believe that's less movies. Unless they keep them at Fox, if Fox still stays an entity, if they're their own studio, yeah, and you know they have a budget of how many movies they can make, then great, because uh, you know they would still be connected. They, they're still utilizing a character that they te- technically own. But when they, um, if they were all under one house, I don't know, man. I, it's it, to, I, you know, of course, you were like, oh, are we gonna get less movies? Yeah, yeah. Uh, where's their competition when you look at? Um, you don't play, you don't play, uh, Madden, right? I do not. Okay. That's I, a, I only that's played a briefly. Baseball game, right? Right. It's a softball sport. No, I, it's a, so Madden, there's, there's not, a, there's, they have the rights to NFL games 
And um, and if I'm wrong, I'm sorry, internet. Um, but there's no competition, and every year when they or, or when they pump a new Madden out, it doesn't always excel. Yeah, you know what I mean. So wh- when there's no competition, competition is good. Competition is sure. great. It you know when you when you have another person that you, you're is like, oh man, this guy's my equal. I gotta be better. I could be better than him. Like he's the, he's the one I gotta beat. When you don't have that, there's there's there could be a problem. Yeah. But who knows? Maybe with Kevin Feige. It won't be a problem. I mean, he'll just it, knock it out of the park every fucking he'll time. Figure out a way to do yeah. it. I don't He's know. Like, this is how we do it, boys. <laughs> I'd prefer him to stay separate personally, yeah. but again, not knowing what Kevin Feige could possibly do in the future. But of course, he's supposed to be retiring soon. So by the time this actually happens, mm. it won't be him most likely. Yeah, even if he wasn't retiring, there's definitely I can I mean, only imagine. Does, no, hundred percent. But he says he wants. To. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, even if I think any any career is gonna, you know, you could lose touch or you you need to you know, i think as a company you, you want to refresh and you need sure. someone to run the sh- someone else to run the ship oh that'd be a hard one to lose man of course be... look he's done what nobody else has done i mean except for maybe pixar pixar definitely knocked out movie after movie you know and sure. it's just like there it's it's a machine um so we'll see i mean you know yeah we're i don't even know what the topic of course is. that guy's gone for a different reason the Which, pixar guy Oh, oh right, right. Oh, no <laughs> well, he was disney he ended up being part of disney animation oh okay was it landis no yeah 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 landis jo- john Wasn't it? lassiter lassiter john, john lassiter <laughs> we know our stuff this yeah. is why this is why we're on the internet um, too because we know everything we're factually 100 percent accurate losers um <laughs> yeah john lassiter he yeah <laughs> saying john landis i, know, I was like Poor guy. Landis, right? <laughs> i'm telling you it's landis i tell you <laughs> Um, no, I, de- I definitely, uh, you know, he was running Disney. Yeah. He, he was in Pixar, but right. When he was at Pixar, when he was in yeah, charge, yeah, yeah. everything was knocked out of the park. Uh, then they hired him for Disney to do their animation specifically. Um, but yeah, yeah you're right. He's, he's part he's, of the dark Hollywood stuff right oh, now. So man. let's move on past that happy stuff. Sexual allegations. But, <laughs> but I would like, so I, I, Fantastic Four is the one that I would like to see them get because okay. i think marvel could do it but i just i really love it well first off if you combine them i do think you have to reboot the x-men universe because mm. i don't see how you would these i mean these yeah. mutants have been running around forever and then yeah this you'd be really hard to intertwine they'd have to like merge the universes and universe but fantastic right. four they could just bring in because that needs a reboot anyway and that's dying for a <sighs> disney makeover but Fox, I like Logan. I don't think I we'd know. get Logan with Disney. Yeah, we'd we get wouldn't get Deadpool. Deadpool. Those are two. Like I like films. the different feel we get from some yeah. of these films. That's well, you know, it's not unheard. Disney did own um another. They, I don't know if it still exists, but Buena Vista. Oh yeah, yeah. And they did a lot of. I think The Rock, uh, 1996, The Rock. Yeah. Not the actor. Um, that was under Buena Vista, but they did a lot of movies, and it's like that's rare. Miramax. So yeah, yeah, think, basically. Yeah. Like, what was it, Miramax and Dimension Films? Yeah. Like, they had two different things, but mm-hmm. it's still owned under one umbrella, um, but one focuses on another thing. So I, if they could do it that way, it still works. Again, like, again, if they hold the, <laughs> you know, CODs, no, if, if, they, if Fox just, if they own Fox, great, and just let them do their own thing, but manage it, um, yeah. and let the creative team do what they want, then, yeah, I think it's great. But if they merge, ah, man, yeah, it, it'd be, you know, they could always do a crossover where if, if they had Fox Studios and let it let them do their thing, let's say they do own them, yeah, and then still continue with Avengers, you could have, and then you could still keep them different worlds, like they're different universes, and then guess what? Boom, X-Men versus Avengers. Right? So, yeah, yeah. That could be cool. Yeah, and the X-Men versus Avengers was actually really good. <laughs> it was. I I've, I've, uh, I saw a review on the whole series on, on YouTube. It was oh fucking my God. awesome. There's a whole... Th- uh, I don't want to get into that because I don't want to... But no, that's really good. I I never read... I think there's a second one I never read, but... A- a- Avengers vs. X-Men? Yeah. But, and I, no, I don't, I don't think know. there is. There's no, a, there there, the, the first one that came out... That's the one I read. Yeah, that which was fairly recent, like four or five years ago. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's not another no. one? I feel like there was. I don't know. I don't really. Not that like I'm said, aware of. Comic books, I don't really read Marvel too much. But I did read that. that I'm aware of. All right. And that was a good one. All right. Let's move on to DC. Mm-hmm. We got to save some time movies, for right? DC. Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> no, I know. I know. They, they do look like. Um... DC's still around, guys. Okay, they got yeah. literally well, one film coming out this year. What was Aquaman. It? Aquaman. Is that this year? That's this year. Oh, good. It's cool. like literally 
as late as you could possibly make it. It's December 21st, I believe. Wow. It'll be Christmas. Okay. Then, but they're, they're qualifying for 2018, so they can say they have one film coming out for That's 2018. True. Well, he is a Christmas character. So he, he, he is? I don't know. Because he's green? Yeah. There's no red. He has, some orange. Is, is there orange? I don't think so. He's got a beard like Santa. He's got a beard. He looks, <laughs> he's a surfer. It's a California movie. He comes from the ocean like Santa does. Um, uh, You know, I did like him in uh, Justice League. So <laughs> you I'm, did. I'm curious what the first trailer will present to us. All right, to just put in a little bit of perspective, of course, everyone um, knows I like, I love BVS. I'm very much a BVS apologetic. Okay. I wasn't, I saw Justice League, I don't know how many times, like anywhere between five. Yeah, I would say right around okay. five or six times I saw it in the theater because I was fanboying out. I yeah. did enjoy it. Of course, you love that movie. It wasn't the same enjoyment I had with BVS. BVS, I'm very unapologetic about. I think it's a masterpiece. Mm. I literally use the word masterpiece. There's a lot of great things about it. That's, I did enjoy so it. That's going to get me kicked off the internet, so. Yeah. <laughs> They're going to kick you out of life. They're like, I'm sorry, John. <laughs> it's not working out. Um,. Yeah, I definitely. It's, so DC movies are coming out. But your favorite one is? It's Man of Steel. Yes. I would say, which <laughs> don't a lot of people hate Man of Steel? Or is it, it's more the geek, it's more the fanboys, right? I think, yeah, yeah. Mm. I think that one's way more accepted than the rest of them. If anyone, at least for the Snyderverse, if anyone's going to uh-huh. go to anyone, it's Wonder Woman first and then Man of Steel second. Oh, really? I feel like the general populace. Oh, okay. Bills. Yeah, I definitely, man, I loved Man of Steel. Man of Steel, even though there is a point where, I mean, there was so much action yeah. that I, I was like, there's a few movies I've seen that I was just like, dude, you could have taken out 20 minutes. It's still, you you would have still would have had more action than most action movies. Um, but I just enjoyed it, man. And, and, you know, it does, there is a lot of the the baggage that comes from watching a Superman movie for me is, you know, we've been I've heard Kevin Smith say this, and we're, and you know, it's like we've been waiting for Superman to beat the shit out of somebody for a long time. I know it happened in Man in, in Superman too, but not to this extent. Yeah, not to this level. I mean, it, the the choreography of the of the action, oh, yeah. from just the fighting to uh, the throwing. Um, it, I think it it, it was the throwing. It makes it. I don't know what. <laughs> You go from fighting to throwing. Fighting. The to throwing, throwing is vicious, crashing, guys. There's so much throwing to breaknecking. <laughs> um, no, there's so you know even the opening when you see um, his dad when you see Russell Crowe. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That whole sequence. I remember just no, I watching think was, it. I think that was John Landis. It was John Landis. It was John Landis. You're right. Um, as his father. Yes. Uh, no. So that whole opening with Russell Crowe, I swear, I, I was like, dude, I, I could watch just this more of Russell Crowe for another yeah. hour yeah, you know, yeah. it was so engaged i was engaged he could throw a cell phone he could throw was a he cell the, phone one of through the cell phone yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he killed a guy with he one could, oh my god he got 10 days he threw it so hard 10 days 10 days for killing somebody uh it was 10 days of um community service. reading scripts so it wasn't really much of a punishment no. um but yeah i definitely i, I love man of steel and and uh, th- and henry cavill just came out and said he wants a Man of Steel too. He's totally game. Of course, he wants he's a lighter game. Superman, I think. But he wants a Man said, of we Steel. We can make it too. like Marvel. I'm telling you, they, they got a good thing going over there. If we would just make it a little lighter, <laughs> he wants um, to have a mustache. That's what I think they should have done. That would have been like, awesome. I think they should have just left on the mustache. Like different scenes happening. Just d- different. Like so, um, one scene he doesn't have a mustache, and the next scene he does. Well, you got Bruce Wayne's beard. One moment he doesn't oh, have a beard really? and he's full cape and cow. Oh, yeah. No, but Batman, he's a, he's a real man. He could grow whatever the fuck he wants. He, he, just, like, he just grows it. I'm growing it now. <laughs> While I'm talking to you. While I'm speaking, Alfred. Because Alfred's like, oh, you need a shit. He's like, I don't shave. <laughs> I just um, stop grow. I degrow. <laughs> really bad. Um, and it, and it just goes back in his face. <laughs> Yeah, no. So I didn't notice that. I have to. I didn't watch it as many times. Yeah, as you. it starts with him, like being Batman, really? no beard, and then all of a sudden he's got a beard. Well, didn't time pass? Didn't days go by? I mean, shit. They my didn't... shit grows pretty fast too. Yeah, they didn't. Oh uh, yeah, my stuff grows. My really back quick. hair grows faster than fucking my <laughs> front hair. My back hair, my feet hair. I guess that would be the <laughs> allude. I don't know. I don't. I don't but like, I think they should have kind of said that. You know, like. No, I'm sure it's just a continuity few... issues, but they, you know, it's just the reshoots, I guess. I don't know. So throw on a mustache, man. Yeah. Throw on a mustache. Man, Let me those... see it the very first second you see that fake mustache. And that was a complaint. Like, they didn't just, like, 
tr- they didn't just have to cover over the mustache. The very first thing you see <laughs> is <laughs> the Superman. Show? Are you talking about the cell phone? Uh, yeah, the, the cell phone yeah. footage, the opening. That's the very first thing, like all over the screen, no hiding it. Just it would have been amazing just to have him have a mustache there. What? Yeah, when you see that, that when you like, see that, when the little like, kids like, so what do you like? What's your favorite thing about Earth? You'd be like, I can grow a mustache. Oh man, I I could grow this mustache. Movember, that's my favorite thing. We're in Movember. <laughs> we? I yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know how to even talk about that. I know now I'm thinking of the pictures, the the first vi- I just remember thinking like, why even use this scene at all? Like it already looks bad. Yeah. Why put it up there? But, you know, I, I someone did mention, I don't know if you heard this, but it could have been cool if, if the kid taking the footage was Shazam. Oh, yes. I've heard that. Like, that, if they do connect that, then it's per- maybe because, you know, you're like, well, they're doing these plans, right? They're, really they're, cool. they're, 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 they're making steps. They're like, well, if Marvel sets up their movies this way, we're going to start. And so you hope that maybe there's an idea behind it. But sure. w- without it, yeah, you're just looking at Henry Cavill and you're like, something's wrong. Yes. You know? Yeah, and it's just it's just off enough. That's what it is. You it's know? usually what it's I say like when that... I'm in the in the restroom going number two. Like I'm about to, I'm like something's wrong. <laughs> I don't know. What it it's is. just a little it's that off. feeling, you know. There's it's a little off. I um, can't stop that feeling. Anyways, um, but I do love Man of Steel. Wonder Woman was great. Yes. Um, and I didn't mind Batman vs Superman. Okay. Um. So the DC movies. You know, they're, they, they're, there's still a possibility that they could be another epic entity. Yeah. I do believe that. Um, I want them to be good. I want, uh, let's face it, I'm sure you agree. We want all the movies to be good. You know, science right. fiction, horror. Um, well, I'm one of those that uh, wants the Snyder Cut. Oh, Justice you League. Want Snyder Cut? I want the Snyder Cut. Did they actually confirm that there even is a Snyder Cut? What they've confirmed is... Um, that there is enough footage uh-huh. what they have to do though and um gosh there's a another somebody else on youtube was doing a great video on it um i want to be able to give him credit but he was going into the details about what the writers or what the director's rights are for mm. oh uh, okay and it's really cool like like the, i guess the studio can't release it saying it's director's cut without the director actually right. saying, you know, I would I would assume that he has good ties with them still. Like yeah. I'm sure it was a tough transition. Sure, because I mean, f- if it wasn't for the tragedy of his daughter, which is just terrible, then I'm sure it'd be a different conversation. But with that in mind, it God, it's but so much they would on. have to. The studio does not have to pay for all the special effects, and that's the expensive part. They because mm. I my understanding is there's enough footage to put it together. Like who knows? I don't really know. I'm not in the yeah, studio. Yeah. But from things that are getting leaked, there's That's technically true. There enough is, footage. Is, yeah. They would just have to do the special effects, which is super expensive. So I'm sure. But yeah, you have to kind of figure I'm sure later they'll they'll figure out like how much it'll cost them and what kind of tracking it is. Like, you know, exactly. if it'll be worth their time to put in the special effects to to put it out there. I, I don't know. I just, I would love to see that. Of course. Because I loved the BVS so much. And I, like I said, I had a good time with Justice League. Yeah. But, um, I also watched a lot of, the, you went out with them. I, I went out, with, like, them. I I went out good, with them. I had a good time. I had a good with time. Them. You know, Wonder we, Woman was we had a good really conversation. beautiful. You know, she has a mind. <laughs> she, has, she has a, you know, a flash, you know, I never saw him and he was there supposedly. They have a good head on their shoulders, you yeah. know, like, but, uh, there was some great moments, but, yeah, it would have been nicer to have the longer rendition. Of, how long? Of, how long is it? The movie. Uh, right now. Yeah. Justice League. Was it two hours? It's a tight two hours. Dude, it's just under. Is, it's so annoying because there's uh, the scenes that I did see the deleted scenes. You could have easily put those in. Even right. if like you, the Superman looking at the suit. Yeah. Even if it's two hours and ten minutes. Are you really that fucking? Are you? Do you really think that it's gonna make that much of a difference at two ten? Yeah, it's just it was, it's a movie people have been waiting for years. I think that was a desperate play, saying how many times can we show this movie in the theater to try to right? But even at two, t- I mean, I mean, I don't know specifics, so I guess you know they they have they have their uh, accountants, I guess, to take a look and go. Well, you know, if you put it in at two hours, we we can make a we can make twenty more dollars. I guess yeah. they have that, sure, but. I guess as a fan, you know, you're like, just give me that fucking 10 minutes. <laughs> give me the other fucking 15 minutes you have. You know, you're just wanting it. Just like uh, Prometheus. I know, I think 
I'm gonna I'm definitely one in the minority and that pro or I think that was fifty fifty, right? It's like fifty fifty on Prometheus, how many people like that movie? Right, right, right. I you know, when you see the deleted scenes, you're like, dude, that movie's two hours. Yeah. And they could have they could have used those f- And it makes th- more sense. It makes more sense. And you're like, but you know, they have those accountants again. Well, it's just so like, like, you B- know, if you bring it in in two hours, we it makes an extra twenty dollars. It's just like BVS. Now, BVS is already really long. What was so the time on that? I don't know. I think that was that was two and a half in the don't theater. Don't pretend you don't know. I You're don't like, know. Oh, I don't want to look like a total geek. Uh, I, I'm not sure. <laughs> it's Juan. gonna be exactly. Um, I, can what, what you, I can tell you. I can tell you. It's close to like three with the the extended version though, the one they released on DVD. Jeez. It's it's really long. So they need. I guess their line of logic was they needed to cut that down. But <laughs> when uh, the ultimate cut, that's what they call yeah, it. BBS, okay. the ultimate cut. When you watch it, it's just more complete. That's the, I never watched the original theatrical version. Mm. I only I, I say I'm going to spend the entire afternoon. I'm going to grow a Superman mustache or a, yeah. a Batman beard. It should only be watched and watch with it. the Superman mustache. It should, <laughs> it should never be watched with a shaven face. Never. <laughs> no, For me, it'll be a no-shaven back. You know, I'm going to go in the no-shaven feet. My palms grow hair. I'm gonna not gonna shave that. There you go. That's go a separate full problem. Full hair, <laughs> full hair viewing. No. But you got Clark Kent doing his investigation. It just yeah. it makes more sense. It's a more complete movie, and it works better. So and I can't wait to take time to see that. I haven't had a chance to see that. So oh, you shouldn't have admitted me, admitted that to me because no, I will be over here. Tomorrow. Okay, I did. I have a friend who did show me. Um, speaking of Zack Snyder, um, shit, Watchmen. I remember I did not enjoy that in the in the okay. theaters. Yep, yep. We walked out. Even pe- pe- people were wearing Watchmen fucking clothes, right? They're yeah. just like, you know, b- big fans of the of the you know comic book. But they we just saw a group of people that just looked so sad. Yeah, you know, and we were we were sad because we were like, this is disappointing. But I remember just thinking, well, as time went on, like I, I kept going, man, I, I should watch it again because I think what we were presented in the, in the trailers like you know you thought it was gonna be something else and then when you get to theater it was a different kind of movie than what was you know sold to us yeah so i have a friend who's like oh you want to okay you got to see the director's cut so we saw dude i fucking loved it what does that one clock in at i i forgot i know it's been a long time i've seen both versions because um, i love that film too i, I didn't enjoy, I you know what, I, I knew Snyder. you know it's funny i had a a feeling i had a feeling for, no i had a feeling that i was gonna enjoy it like there was something about because i would see clips on YouTube or people reference it for whatever reason. I'd be like, I gotta see, I gotta check out that old movie, The Watchmen again. And um, yeah, my friend showed me the long cut and I fucking loved it. So you wanna know how bad I am mm-hmm. with Nerdum? Right now they've got, DC has a whole series called Doomsday Clock. Oh, I heard, yeah. I and heard in case, I, I don't wanna get into spoilers there per se, but essentially. Don't you fucking ruin that. Don't, <laughs> But it is interlacing watch the Watchmen universe with DC. Oh right, yeah. To mixed reviews, and I get that. Mm. You know, I mean, Watchmen. Alan Moore. Alan Moore's Watchmen was a very special yeah. thing. Um, but I absolutely love the Snyder verse. Right. I love Watchmen. I love the, the full length. I love BVS. So, and and I don't mind them messing with our characters. Obviously, if Iron Man three is one of my favorite Marvel films, mm-hmm. I don't mind them messing with characters. So I kind of wanted them to try to bring that into the cinematic universe. Mm. Actually have, you oh, know. Well, now there, there's a show coming out, though. There is. Not connected. Not connected, right. But still, that'll be interesting. Man, I have not heard anything about that since its initial announcement. Only if Snyder was overseeing the whole thing. It's the only way because it would have been the full Snyderverse. And mm. the DC, the yeah. DCEU right. or whatever <laughs> the actual name is. Like DCF technically you. that would, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> technically that would have started way back with Watchmen. Be like, wait, what? That's right. what it actually began. Man, it still was not our first film, guys. Um, but it looks it looks pretty promising. I mean, only because of the showrunner. I think, or it's the creator of the Leftovers. Have you ever seen the Leftovers? I haven't. It, it's a slow burn, but I, I had leftovers. I, I always have leftovers. No, when I watch leftovers, I watch leftovers. Um, I did enjoy it. Yes. Um, it's a slow burn. I remember the first time watching, I was like, oh, I'm not sure if I like it. And then I was like, this is this is pretty good. Uh, and the second season, even better. You're just like, what the? It's it's a lot of WTF moments. Yeah. But good ones. Yeah. Um, third season, not so much. But anyway, sorry. Yeah. It, since he's taken over Watchmen or he's taken care of it, it's promising. Yeah. Okay. Really, so That's interesting. I also heard there's going to be huge deviation, though. It's not going to be... 
I get it. We were we, the movie itself. I feel is f- fucking ninety percent of that book, right? Which is kind of to a fault, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Like I think that was kind of the de- like the, the I think for a transition um, when it's translated to the to to, cin- to the cinema, um, <laughs> I feel that like they could have taken some things out. I, I, I just you know I feel like doing the book. You already have the book. Yeah, it doesn't have to be a hundred percent, but they, it was so close. So I think with the show, I think it's fine that they'll deviate from yeah, from yeah. that like I, I don't mind like i'm curious because we have the movie you have the comic book you have the motion comic book you ever see oh, that yeah yeah no i actually never saw that yeah one. i've seen it so wow it's just well i, You've I was one I, had, me. I had time to kill you know <laughs> i was like i'm not doing anything but you don't have time to kill for the ultimate cut i know oh well this was God. years ago it's, okay you know it was on youtube it was free yeah. <laughs> i was like i'm gonna do i'm gonna do my nails and do this so even though I'm a fan of D- what DC's put out, I'm also hesitant because uh, because Justice League was a little bit of a trip up because they were like, hey, let's let's mimic Marvel, <sighs> which is what ultimately kind of... I, I, even though I love some of the jokes, some mm-hmm. of the jokes really worked in there. There were times it was forced. Um, so can they find their... That's, can they find their own theme and what they really want to do going forward? Yeah. Forward. Is the I question. mean, I, I personally they tr- they try it's funny because I think uh Rose, um I think I've, I've heard people say that that the jokes didn't land. Yeah, I personally felt that they did all of them. Yeah, I, yeah. Like it's funny because I remember you were telling me there was going to be a fan cut. Yeah, yeah. And that's they're going to cut out the jokes that didn't land. And I was like, which one? So what like, they did I was like is, what didn't land? They cut out most of the Batman jokes. Is what they did okay. in order to keep the theming closer to BVS, mm. which worked for me because the jokes oh, I, I see that. did love. Like I loved Superman carrying the house next to yeah. Flash. That was funny to me. The lasso Aquaman sequence was mm. hilarious to me. That was the be- one of the better moments. That was a big crowd pleaser. I remember yeah. being in the theater and it was laughing. For and that it was- I didn't laugh. I you didn't one. laugh. No, I'm kidding. No, um, I don't. I don't have a laugh bone in my body no i definitely i enjoyed it you know i think that it's just the ending it just felt weird man like it's funny because you you look at um avengers especially with infinity war and you have so many fucking characters and then they're like oh we can't put green lantern in this movie because it's just too many characters we don't want to crowd everything you know we want to want people to focus on um on these characters you know be too much and i was just thinking so when you watch infinity war you're just like how could they have not put Green Lantern oh my in that God. movie? Uh, but I, I did enjoy for what it was. It, it was just towards the ending and spoiler about Justice League. But when Superman shows up, oh yeah, he kind of just beats up. For I, I didn't mind the the fight with all of them. Like that, that was cool. But man, when he he gets to the what was the main bad guy? Steppenwolf. Steppenwolf. When he gets, it's almost like he's like. Is he bothering you? And then he it seems like he could just take him he out. He wiped him out. Yeah. Real easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, it didn't seem like it was a pro- and everyone, like Superman's like, oh, it was, oh, thank God you're here, Superman. Thank God. You know, you're just like, what the fuck? And then and then he's like, people are in trouble. I'll be right back. And then Batman's like, hurry up, please. I don't have enough bullets. You know, it, it was just like No, the whole movie was just them buying time for Superman. They're like, you know, yeah. guys, we can't you run fast. Yeah. Uh, Wonder Woman was awesome, but she also got beat up a little bit by Steppenwolf. So they, they, they did they a good job. Like to... with Superman showing up, I felt it could have, it still should have been even like give Superman a challenge too. Yes. You know, like let them work together. Well, I think I could be completely wrong, but I think that was going to be with the Snyder one. They're well, going to do dude, a the little Snyder dark sidey thingy. They had a know. whole part one and part two. Yeah, yes, That's, they did. It was announced 100%. that way with dark side. Yeah. So with the changes, you know, it, it, it was, it was fine. But I, I think they could salvage the universe, you know? Like, you think they, they can? I don't know. I think they Because they're going to try to. No, I, I agree. I agree with you, John. Okay. I'm not trying to fight you. Um, there's going to be a lot of therapy sessions. I, know. I think there's definitely times me. where we've talked about it where <laughs> it, 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 it could almost be like, uh, not, not a fight, but we definitely, uh, you know, jib and jab uh-huh. here and there. Just uh-huh. like what, what, what you hate about Marvel uh-huh. and what I hate about DC. But. <laughs> Uh, I, I do think they have a chance. I mean, look, Wonder Woman again. Again, it was good. You know, <laughs> I had a sandwich as I watched it and it was good. Um, sorry, I got, you cut that out. Um, but yeah, definitely. That was a great John Landis impersonation. That was, that was, that was John Travolta. Oh, Travolta. Um, right, right, right. Yeah, no, I, I definitely think they have a chance. I mean, look, Wonder Woman again, good. 
Man of Steel. That was great. You have you have a fucking lead actor, who I'm sure he could p- pretty much do anything he wants at this point. Yeah. Um, I would Maybe. assume, mm-hmm. and he wants to do it. Make a deal. Make Man of Steel two. Do a Green Lantern since you mentioned it. Green do, Lantern is my Green guy. Lantern Court. What what's the story? Like, we, there's yeah. so much they could do. I there's definitely the, a chance. I think people are just upset and annoyed with like, oh, here's another DC movie. You know, it's it's the general public is probably. I mean, look at dude, Justice League. Did, Avengers and Infinity War made more in its opening weekend. Yeah, worldwide, than Justice League made in their full run. Right. Yes. So that that's like a problem for them, I'm sure. Thanks. Where, where Thanks Deadpool, for that in. Thanks. Deadpool, <laughs> who's not that much... Sorry, no. Um, <laughs> they have a chance. I, I think that it's just like, you know, they're so... I think people have said they're so fan reactionary. Yeah, yeah. Like, or crowd reactionary. They're, they're like, oh, people... Are, did you hear what they, they wrote on the internet? That we, they're not mm-hmm. liking this. We got to change this. So, so as long as they stick to the... They just need to hire their own Kevin... Faggy, faggy, <laughs> um, and you know, let that person run the show. It just that's that's an idea. Yeah, they they need to get some kind of Kevin Feige to organize something. Feige. I, I, I don't I don't know if a Feige needs to actually <laughs> orchestrate the whole thing yeah. or just have one person sit there and be like, just hire somebody to take notes. Yeah, I know. to be like, okay, what type of theme are you going with over here? Uh, you know, because. Yeah, Wonder Woman was so great, you know. Wonder and, Woman was fun, um, and yeah, Man of Steel. You did get an, a Man of Steel too, and then, a, dude, of all fucking things, no Batman. Yeah, yeah. Like, do you think they're just waiting for Ben Affleck to be like, I okay, this is good. Like, what the fuck's the problem? There's got to be something behind the scenes that we're not seeing. Yeah, director definitely... wise, they're just having a hard time getting off the ground. But I'd like to see they 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 have so much potential there. You could do a Man of Steel. 2. You can line up a Man of Steel two. They already got Wonder Woman two go like yeah. that one's being made shazam's being made you could line up a batman a superman and then a, a green lantern right that's what i would do go right into the green lantern court they keep talking about a buddy cop film but that would be awesome m- m- yeah make it funny make it make it funny and uh, like lethal weapon like people compare it to that when they say buddy cop film in the way that there's a seriousness to it, mm-hmm. so we're interested in it. Yeah. You still get the DC fans where we're like, yeah, we like our darker, a little bit, little bit darker universe, but then also has some funny things in there. Yeah. You know, a man sitting on a toilet can't get up because of a bomb. Was that the <laughs> second one or the first one? Actually, uh, that's the second, second one, isn't one, it? Yeah. That's the second one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was, we I can just, have actually, that. I saw the first one recently, um, just to see the opening. Yeah. Uh, Cause you know Shane Black, I was just thinking like, man, how, how, what do you write in the opening? Just, just a couple things. Like, I, then I kind of skimmed through. Uh, but you're right. They should. It should totally be that way. And there's just so many opportunities. And then they could all. You could lead to your own grand event. You could focus on the isolated films, make them loosely connected. Yep. But Same. not have to do yeah. exactly what Marvel was doing. Just do your own isolated films that still pertain to the same universe, and then lead up to Infinite Crisis. Yeah. They could. Do, there's just. There's the potentiality is there. Um, I'm sure they're smarter than us because you know they run a studio. But they, whoever the studio heads are, you know, just focus and you know just take pluck from the fucking source material, just like Marvel's doing. Yes, successfully, and don't be afraid to take chances. You know, I will say one thing: Marvel, I feel like, has lucked out on is the directors they've hired. Yes, because you know, for me, I'm always like they're they're hiring that guy. Like, what was that pitch like? Because you know, even for the Russo brothers who did Community, oh sure, and, uh, and Arrested Development, they when they were doing um, Winter Soldier, I was thinking like, oh, wait, like everyone was worried. They're like, what the, f- who the fuck are these guys? And then you know, obviously the the first thing I ever heard from the the, the pre- one of the press things was uh, that they wanted to be like. Um, Three days in the condor, and I was like, "Whoa!" I was like, "Huh? All right." I'm, I'm like, "I don't know who these two boys are, but I like them." Um, <laughs> but yeah, definitely. So DC, definitely. I, I there's so much potentiality. They could definitely go give Marvel a run for its money. Absolutely. Totally. Let's let's. They uh, won't. <laughs> but they, they're going possible. to. I'm gonna. We'll wrap it up here with. Uh, I want to throw in my point where the hardest part for DC is not even just competing with Marvel. It's I think making both sides happy people like me that loved bvs Mm -hmm. and loved man of steel and loved all and still wants that unique look that dc has that like i I say with marvel even though i love marvel and they've they win 
all the awards that I could possibly give out, made up film glutton awards. Yeah. Uh, they, but there's a You're lot. Like, we had a ceremony. It was really small. We had two there, people. <laughs> there's a lot of one and dones. There's a yeah. lot of, of Marvel films. I'm just kind of like, okay, I saw that episode because it is episodic, you know? And, yeah. And I'll, I'll watch the big ones. And those are the ones I own. I, it's a small select few that are actually my favorite. Right. Uh, or DC. So it's, I just think Warner Brothers needs to find a way to kind of like not mimic them, mimic the right things, I guess, take mm-hmm. certain notes from them and make the Marvel fan happy, the general public happy to boost those box office sales right. so I can get my Green Lantern film, so I can get my Justice League, Infinite Crisis, You have Final your Green Crisis. Lantern film, dude. It yeah, stars okay. Deadpool. Yeah, that's the one it's... we, that's the one we ignore. Yeah. <laughs> Even for me, the hardcore right. fan. I have the... Anyways, let's, we've been going on for a long time. It's yeah. been a lot of fun. Thank you yeah, for coming. Man. Thank Thanks you for, for me. being here. But I'll let you have the, uh, any final thoughts? Um... Uh, that, that's a tough, that's a trick question because I don't have any thoughts. See, no, I, I definitely, yeah, I love, I can't wait for more Marvel movies. Uh, I can't wait to see what they do with the next few movies. And I can't wait what? to see if DC will uh, step up their game because, you know, there's a lot of potentiality there. Give us a little Christopher Walken. Okay, you know, a lot of comic book movies um, around. So good, some are bad. All right. I'm just going to have a sandwich. And thank you. All right, thank you for joining us, everybody. This is the Film Glutton reminding you to never turn down an upgrade. Talk to you later.